Division properties of exponents, the quotient of power's property. What we're going to go through in this lesson is the quotient of power's property. And, and what that says is if you have a number, let's say a, and it's raised, raised to a power, let's say m, and it's divided by another, another number with the same base, another exponent with the same base. So let's say a to the n. Okay, how this works is you're, all you have to do is write, write the base and then take, take the power of the numerator and subtract the power of the denominator. So what it's going to be is a to the m power over a to the n power equals a to the m minus n power. And if you want to see what that looks like when, when you actually throw in real numbers, it would be it would be saying something like 3 to the 4th power over 3 squared and what that's going to equal is 3 to the 4th minus 2 which is when you subtract the exponents you get 4 minus 2 which is 2 so it's 3 squared which equals 3 times 3 which is 9 Okay, and, and that's the rule. That's the, that's the property, the quotient of a power's property. Now, let me explain why that works. Well, let's take, this, let's take this example using the real numbers. We have 3 to the 4th over 3 squared. Well, let's expand those, those two. Let's expand the numerator and the denominator. So 3 to the 4th, 3 to the 4th, is, is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 squared is the same thing as 3 times 3. And when it's written in the fraction form, we can look at it this way. We have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and then on the bottom we have 3 times 3. And, and, and when you're dealing with fractions, and it's all multiplication on the top and the bottom, you can, you can eliminate the same terms. So you can eliminate a 3 on the top as long as you eliminate a 3 on the bottom. And then you can do that for the other 3 and the other 3. And when you eliminate everything on the bottom, well, what's left is just a 1. And that 1 is invisible, but you can imagine that it's there. So what we're left with is two 3's on the top, 3 times 3, and we're left with a 1 on the bottom, which we don't even need to write because, because anything over 1 is the same thing as the numerator. And then all we're left with is 3 times 3, which is 9. And that's the same answer that we got before by using the property. So, so that's what the quotient of power's property is. Let's just do a couple examples so that you can see it uh, a couple times. Let's say we have 6 to the 5th power over 6 to the 4th power. Well, using that property, all we have to do is write 6. And, and again, this only works if you have the same base. So if it's a 6 and a 6, it's only going to work if, if you have the same base. So you, you write that as 6 to the 5th minus 4. So you just subtract the exponents. And you're left with 6 to the first power, which anything to the first power is just the same as the base. So your answer is 6. Okay, one more example. Let's say you have negative 5, negative 5 to the third power over negative 5 to the third power. Okay. So what this is going to be, negative 5 is your base, so you're going to write that, negative 5, and it'll be to the third power minus the third power. So 3 minus 3. So you subtract the exponents. And what that gives you is negative 5 to the 0 power. And if you'll remember, the, the 0 um, exponent property says that anything to the 0 power is just going to equal 1. So in this case, we have negative 5 to the 0 power equals 1. And, and you could have probably seen that 
um, from the problem. You have something, you have something, you have something on the in the numerator over the same thing in the denominator. And if you know about fractions, if you have if you have a number over another number, it's going to equal one. As long as the number is not zero, which in this case it's not. So that's that's a couple more examples of, of using this property. It's the quotient of powers property. You may need a little bit of practice on this, but in the next video we'll go over power of a quotient property.